Rickin' in the cake, rickin' in the cake, a wick all night, rickin' in the cake, that's how we do here at Concorp. Ooh, hello there my fellow miners and crafters, good times, we're Skyr here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting, and we're flying over the brand new Concorp Movie Studio, which is in its construction phase. You can see Azuma's hard at work down below building his soundstage, and of course, in our last episode, we built the shell of ours, and the video just just went live actually and so far the feedback on the powder concrete is very positive so thank you so much for that I'm glad that worked out because once it was all concretified I'm like it needs texture it needs something extra to it uh, but we still need to do is put something on the sides and the back to try to add a little bit more of a human element right we've got the shell of it but it needs a life it needs a soul and how to do that is you know to put like signs and just little things that say like a human would put on like a light in the front that says live don't make sounds things along those lines so if we go through the door we're hopefully our efficiency rates of our Unintentional mob farmer low. It looks like it. Only two mobs have spawned. Ooh, look at those shoes in the distance. Wow. Look at the size of those golden shoes. Look at that. Look at that stroke motion. It's very precise. Probably a good um, fast walker. Wasn't that a thing for a while where people, uh, they didn't run, they didn't jog, but it was like fast walking. It was in Malcolm in the Middle, if you remember that show back in the day. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. So in the interior, we are going to be building up a beautiful, wonderful TV show in here that I'm very excited about. We'll talk a little bit more about that once we get to that. But where we're going to be going today is to the shopping district to spruce it up a little bit. And what I mean by that is the hermits are going to get together and do little projects around the community area to kind of spruce it up a little bit. It's a little rough around the edges in certain areas because it's so heavily trafficked, right? So what our project for today is to clean up this much overdue project on the back of Top Gun Powder. We need to make sure this isn't a flow cliff anymore we need to fix this tree clean out the pumpkins and at the stock exchange doc wants us to clean up that a little bit because some of the trees got blown up and of course um, I never lit it up and I feel really really bad about that <laughs> he's been dodging and weaving creepers and skeletons this whole time over there so we'll add some lights and also light up this area because poor green almost died here when he landed um, <laughs> There was so many mobs the other day, and it looks like we've sold our boxes out. I think I smell diamonds also. Ho ho ho, beautiful. All right, so we'll restock Top Gun Powder also. So let me get some supplies, and let's start doing our beautification project. And do super fast build mode and we've got ourselves a super fancy cliff and we're finishing up cleaning up our last pumpkin patch and this will open up plenty of new opportunities for hermits to build shops because we're running out of space here and uh, hopefully now the hermits can have some more places to build and nicer looking cliff top gun powder is no longer floating so we'll drop off the pumpkins in the nether prep building and continue our efforts let's see if we can maybe flatten this out so this could be a potential opportunity for a shop and then we'll move our attention to lighting up the stock exchange one last thing here in the shopping district before we move on to our project and that is our warranty services on the stock exchange so with any landscaping job I've ever done I will always come and do any repairs or alterations if necessary so landing here what we're going to do is start kind of cleaning up some of these pathways and adding lights to them because these lamps are not doing the job and it looks like Doc cleared away all of his uh, shulker boxes and some like test redstone pieces so that's good I love the subway station it's one of my favorite things on the server and then he had also mentioned that some of our little orange autumn trees had exploded i don't see any like massive damage maybe these were the blocks i don't know i don't see any like massive damage to these they look relatively fine let's look around the side here yeah that one looks fine that looks good and then i noticed there was a beacon flying in here so we can clean this area up and potentially even um, add a bunch of dirt across here and this could be a whole new area for a whole series of new shops so that could be really cool like the docks of the shopping district um, i think we can clear this cave out too because we built this for when we were doing the landscaping so yeah i think we can clear this all out i'm not <laughs> i'm not 100 percent sure what to do with all of this but i'm sure we could kind of pack it all up and get it out of the way. Ooh, diamonds. That's that's the number four diamond there, apparently. Uh, OK, 
okay, there's more than four. <laughs> Are these the stock exchange diamonds that went lost during the war? <laughs> oh my god, we gotta get these back to Doc. Oh man, all right, let's go to everything and we'll give these to him. We're good Samaritans today. I somehow lost my sword, but this phantom doesn't seem to be a threat. Like he is very, very confused, so that's okay. Anyway, I wanna show you guys how beautifully lit this place is. Like, look at this place, it is fully lit up. Doc's no longer gonna have any mob issues. We've got a whole bunch of lighting tucked under the planters and I think it's looking really good. Where's that piece of carpet? There we are. So yeah, I think that's looking cool. Let's go. Uh, fix that cave and then we'll wrap this up decided to keep the cave because I didn't know where to put Doc's supplies so I just wanted to spruce up the entrance a little bit and I think we'll come back on stream and we'll reclaim this land for future valuable shopping district real estate I think that'll be fantastic so yeah the cave just has like a little entrance like this and then you can find all the supplies and as for the diamonds here I don't really want to get involved in that side of the war because I wasn't on the server and I don't want to be accused of stealing or anything like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give these things back anonymously so we'll just drop that down we'll put up a sign and how about we blame this on the jingler I think that would be hilarious so we'll throw those on in there wash our hands of that and there we go we helped out the server today cleaned up some stuff there's definitely a little bit more to do but it's time to head back to the movie studio. Something I realized as I was flying over here is that I have still yet to explain what we are going to do with our giant soundstage. So let's finally announce it. So within this space, we are going to create a TV show called Vex Tank. Now the idea behind Vex Tank is that hermits will want to, you know, build something. Say they have a great idea for a build or a redstone contraption, a farm or even a shop, and they will come and they'll be a part of the TV show and they'll pitch us the idea. They're like, hey, I've got this really, really great build idea and they'll explain it to us. And if we like it, we will invest in that idea by giving them an entire stack of diamond blocks. Now, if we do not like their idea, we will drop them in the Vex tank and they will meet their demise by a passion of a thousand Vexes and it's going to be amazing. So it's loosely based on, you know, Shark Tank on TV. You know, you got Mark Cuban doing his thing and I think it'll be really fun. We'll get the Vexes involved. We'll get Concorp involved. We'll get some fun twists and a lot of redstone that things happen, you know, depending if we're in or if we're out and things along those lines. So what we're going to be building is start with, I think we're going to be building like a concrete floor, right? very basic industrial floor that you'd find in the soundstage. And then once you get onto the TV set, it instantly changes. It's super fancy. We get nice blocks, things along those lines. We'll build up some live studio audience bleachers in this side over there. And then in the back, we're going to have a giant tank where the Vexes live. And of course, we'll have, you know, a spot for Cub, Captain Jack and myself. And we'll have levers. We'll be able to drop the contestant into the Vex tank if we don't want their idea. And we'll have the 64 blocks of diamonds like hoisted up in the air. So I hope that sounds good. If you like that idea, Hit that like button and let's start building this thing. This area is truly coming to life. We got Azuma's two sound stages built and he's now working on the RCN over there. <gasps> he changed his skin. Oh my God. <laughs> it has been months and months we've had X Yeti, but now we have our classic Azuma. Can we get a hand for Azuma in the comments? Like, let's get a GG for Azuma in the comments. <laughs> He's had that Yeti skin on forever. That is so funny. <laughs> really caught me by, by guard there. That is hilarious. Anyway, by guard. Wait, I think I said that completely wrong. Caught me off guard. There you go, Scar. Anyway, so what we're going to start with is we're going to clean the floor off. Like I said, we're going to go with like a concrete floor and then I need to start cleaning the walls up, right? We have like powdered concrete, hardened concrete. We've got dirt. So yeah, that's my first task is to get down. Did I just task, not taxes? Man, today, today with the words have been very hard. <laughs> so I'm going to work on the walls. I'm going to work on the floor and I'll be right back. We've got a lot of water under us. So we're going to need something to get this out of here because when we start laying down the redstone, this is going to be a problem. Oh, unintentional mob farming up the door again. That's the second time that door has blown up. It's like Spider-Man's den in here. This is insane. <laughs> I can't get in there. I seriously. No, no, he's gonna get me. Azuma, help me. Azuma, please help me. I think I got all the mobs now. There's one more spider left. 
And with that, I think we are good, and we can finally get rid of the water. Well, we might need another sponge. Playing Minecraft without a sword is actually quite difficult, so I need to go back in the video and find out where I lost the sword. I, I must be at some point when we were working on the time lapse. I'm not 100% sure, but look at our big, beautiful soundstage. We've got a floor here, and it's got a lot of depth and variety of texture built into it, so I think that's looking nice. And like I said, this is just kind of the industrial floor, whereas everything on this side is going to be very polished and very nice. We'll probably actually take out a large chunk of the floor, but I just wanted to get a stable floor down And as for the walls, you'll see this powdered concrete and I must have spent an hour scratching my head Trying to figure out how to blend that into the design because I don't want to put up an additional wall Inside here to cover up like just a white concrete wall That's going to limit what we have in terms of space You know adding an extra wall in here along with messing up kind of the ceiling which I think looks kind of cool so what I'm going to do is I'm going to theme these things as sound absorbing panels, right? It's got this extra little texture, so sound kind of absorbs into it. So if you've ever been in somewhere where they have sound absorbing panels, it kind of looks like that. So we're going to use that for our inspiration uh, and we're going to call it that. I think that'll be perfect. There definitely is some work we still need to do around the door. And I guess fix the creeper hole. <laughs> but what I'm going to start on now to kind of help frame this room is the studio audience bleacher seating so what we're gonna have is we're gonna have like a bleacher start here and it's gonna kind of run up here like that and we'll kind of do a fun little pattern and then from that we're gonna be able to fill in the rest of the room which i think is gonna be awesome so let's get those bleachers in the live studio audience bleachers are now complete so the hermits can come up here and watch vex tank as it's being filmed and you know i like how we kind of differentiated the wood and the stone so the stone of course is going to be your seat and then the wood is going to be a, you know a place that you would climb up the bleachers and i think they look fairly nice now they look a little small in the space we got this giant room and these little tiny bleachers but once we start filling the room with more and more objects like the catwalks above and you know I was looking at theaters some images and they have a lot of like strange like wooden structures on the sides and I assume that's to help you know place props and lights so a lot of like scaffolding I guess along the wall so I think that'll look decent and like I'd mentioned I want lights hanging down from the ceiling so we'll build up a network of supports up there um, but where we're going to go now is we need to build the stage so we want to give a little bit of room say we give about this much room between studio audience and the stage and this will be lined with cameras and production equipment and then everything past this point will be the stage and that's what we're gonna work on now. And like that, we now have our layout of our set. And as I always say, dirt is your best friend because it solves all of your problems before you commit to something with solid blocks that would take much, much longer to tear out. So let's kind of talk about this. First thing is the tank. This is the Vex tank here. And what I'm thinking about for like the redstone components and how if we don't go in with the investment into their build, I mean, we're going to kill them with Vex. This is the way it's going to be. And uh, how to activate that, how to keep the Vexes from coming out when we don't want them, things along those lines. We'll get to that later, but this will be the general layout for the tank. And I think it'll look really cool. So we'll probably dig out a little bit around the sides and then we'll probably slope this down because if you're in the audience or up in the, you know, the host of the show, we want to be able to see into it. So I think that'll be really nice. So we'll have a nice little desk over here. This little section over here, this little line is going to be a Vex head. So I was kind of measuring and getting the dimensions to make sure Vex heads on either end will look right. And where's my wall? Where's my wall? Oh, there's my wall. <laughs> it's like, where's my wall? So... I was trying to think like what should the set look like so I looked at a lot of TV show um, studio sets and I think I've got a pretty good idea a lot of them have like a homey kind of look right there's some furniture that's you know just for decoration there's some windows with fake you know dioramas on the back so I think we'll work on that so that's why this wall doesn't meet up with this wall because there's going to be some room in here for you know fake dioramas like a fake tree to make it feel like you're in a house or something along those lines probably do some couches some cakes things along those lines up here this will be like cub seat captain jack seat my seat and we'll have our controls for if we're in or out on the proposal for the farm or build or shop or something along those lines and probably some additional buttons for more things that happen and I definitely would love to hang some diamonds from the ceiling to really taunt the person in the tank, you know, like, 
If you make a good proposal, these diamonds could be yours. Or I push this button and you'll die by a vex. Oh, I am getting inspired now. We've got a giant tank now installed in the soundstage. And if we hop on down here, we can head inside and there is a random block. And it's bugging me and I'm, I'm just too short to get it. Ah, anyway, so what we're gonna need to do is start putting down a floor. So I've got a little bit of cyan this time, a little bit different from the floor up above being the blue. So I think this is gonna look fairly nice in here. We might change out the interior of the tank to Vex Magic and do cyan just around the corners, but we'll see once we get to that point, but at least it's a start on getting the tank established. Now, when it comes to the redstone, do we drop the person into it? and then the vexes come alive in there or do we place the contestant in the tank to start with so i'm not sure like i'm not sure how to quite do it that's why i said we're gonna hold off on the redstone and just get everything built first and then we can start thinking about that so yeah let me know about the redstone components in the comments help me out with this a little bit so we'll fill in this with that and we'll decorate the walls and all that stuff and get it looking a little bit fancier and i'm also thinking inside the tank we'll make it like a fish tank right it's everything that the fish would need to live or maybe a guinea pig right instead of hamster wheels or this or that we'll put cake vex magic anything that uh, vexes like birch wood <laughs> so yeah i think this is starting to look good it's going to take a lot more work and the other thing i was thinking about was filling it with some kind of fluid so if we ran this along the walls potentially this could look really really cool from the outside like this tank is actually filled with some kind of a fluid and if we pop out we can take a look at the hey, hey that actually looks fantastic we just need a whole, whole lot more of the blue glass yeah okay I, i'm feeling this guys i am feeling this so let me finish that clean up the bottom and I will hopefully be right back. The tank is now done. All we need to do now is figure out where the contestants are gonna go. Are they above and get dropped in? Or are they already in the tank? And potentially we could bring like an illager, illusioner, um, summoner, <laughs> whatever the guy is that brings the vexes, maybe on like a minecart under it and then it gets released. I, I don't know, we'll, we'll think of something, help me with that. But other than that, I think the tank is looking really nice. So where we want to turn our focus is the set walls. So I want to start bringing up the walls all the way across. And what I'm thinking for this is dark oak and we'll strip the bark off of this and then cyan. And I'm just going to go up to say here for now. It doesn't need to be precise. We're just getting a feel for the block uh, colors and textures and shapes. So we'll put that down like a so and we'll swoop around, put that up like that. Beautiful. And I think what we'll do is we'll raise that all the way up and then we're going to put some windows in there there and I was looking at a lot of like old TV shows and even some of the newer late night shows and they always have little TV models outside right I was looking at originally some TV shows and they had the fake trees the fake like sunlight things along those lines but looking at the tonight shows they have like little fake models like I think it was um Jimmy Fallon, I believe he has like this stylized New York um, City models behind him and Conan's not his most recent set, but his, I guess his last one he had, it had little models of the Warner Brothers sound stages. So I thought that was actually really cool. It kind of looked like what we'd built. Um, so yeah, try to use some inspiration from that. But I think what we'll do is we will put windows up here, kind of like a house, and we'll maybe we'll build some fake trees out in the back there. I think it could be really fun. So yeah, let's get everything surrounded with our fake walls, get that all looped around, and then we can start working on the fun little details, like the fake trees, and get the big vex heads up there and figuring out how we're going to design the seats for the hosts ah we have a little friend here today bob the creeper building inspector making sure the stage is up the code and ready to go but anyway i've laid out the windows for the walls and of course got the walls up and i'm still trying to figure out the stage like where the hosts are gonna go i have a couple ideas for that uh, but what we need to work on now is kind of freshening up this area and getting the windows installed and like i said we'll probably make some fake furniture that seems to be very common in a lot of these sets is they have a lot of like fake furniture to kind of make feel kind of homey but it's fake anyway so we'll just put those down like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to go with a white window and then above that we'll do a blue one to add a little color which i think will look really nice and if we could do just a bit of scaffolding we'll head ourselves up here and then hmm, i think i'm going to go like this and I'm going to swoop out under here like that and that will allow us to make kind of like a windowsill 
like that. Oh, I like that. I think that'll actually come out pretty cool. So I have really exciting news in that I finally settled on all the parts for my new computer. It's, <laughs> it's if you follow the streams, we talk about it a lot on Twitch and it's really exciting. I've picked out all the components. I am quite happy with it. It is uh whoa, that's Bob. Oh, yep, yep, nope, nope. On the side of the pillar. <laughs> Oh, this isn't good. Bob, you can't come after a man with just an axe. Oh, he's gonna blow the tank. Don't blow the tank up. Oh, boy. Okay, we got this. We got this. Wow. Wow. That really, really took a punch at him. Huh. Maybe the axe isn't so bad after all. <laughs> I was picturing we were gonna die. Anyway. Um, like I said, very excited about that. Um, I've been saving the saving up for this thing for like two and a half years now. So I originally was going to buy it last year, but the prices, you know, with graphic cards and all that stuff were crazy because of bit miners and things along those lines. And RAM prices and SSD prices were just insane. So I waited another year and uh, I am really happy. I'm, I'm really glad I did, actually. Uh, it is going to work out very good. Now I need to... Hmm going to go off of this one right here so yeah so look forward to maybe a vlog or something setting up my studio a little bit better with my new computer and I think it'll be uh, fantastic it'll help videos it'll uh, definitely cut down on the amount of time that I render and stuff along those lines so I am very very excited about that and hopefully it can be seen on stream because I've got these little LED fans on there that look super super cool we can program them for like Christmas and stuff so we can have like red and green for Christmas and for what 4th of July we can a fireworks show oh it's going to be amazing so we got the windows right so they're being installed there and what i'm going to do is i'm going to run a couch across here and i think what we're going to do is we're going to try something like this right do a do a nice little couch like that and then maybe an additional couch can go like this across here i know this isn't the exact place but i'm just kind of gauging where everything is going to fit and then maybe some plant life up here like that. And I think eventually we can put this all together and make something look really great. And of course, what I'm going to do is start working on the stage also and getting the Vex heads all ready to go. And soon we'll have a full production studio. I don't have any weapons. I can't deal with an Enderman with no weapons. <laughs> all right, let's go take flight here. No, 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 no rockets. No, but you can't get me in the water. Ha <laughs> ha, you can't get me in the water, man. <laughs> oh, you're so mad. You so mad. Look at you shake. <laughs> oh man, this uh, little pond came in super, super clutch. Oh man. <laughs> the final decoration we need for our set is cake and a whole, whole lot of it. This is one of the most satisfying crafting recipes in the game. It's just one after another as it fills the bucket and produces the most delightful item in the game. I don't know what came over me. I just started making cakes and I couldn't stop. I just kept going. I filled up all the shulker boxes. I filled up all the chests over here. I just kept going and I love it. I was making cakes awake all night, raking them in, looking super fine in here. And this cow, this cow, boy. That one can produce a lot of milk, I'll tell you that right now. But I think we have enough cake to finally finish our studio. I have been on an insane journey to complete this project. We've been to the end. We've been to the cake factory and the swamps. And I got my first orchid of season six, which I'm quite happy about. Also, Bob the Building Creeper Inspector stopped by and uh, apparently the door is uh, still not up the code. <laughs> this is legitimately the only way in. <laughs> <laughs> but welcome to Vex Tank, a place where hermits can come and the generosity of the Vex may bestow them diamonds to help them in their builds and things along those lines. And I am very, very excited about this. So we have the tank and I love the little bit of blue inside of there. What do Vexes drink, by the way, in the comments? Hashtag Vex's favorite beverage. I don't know. What, what, what did they like? Whatever it is in there, they love and it's blue. So let me know in the comments. And of course, we've got our couches, we've got the windows, we've got plants, and here is the famed cake. And of course, uh, we went to the end to get the end rods for our nice little lamp. 
and the beautiful orchid. <laughs> I love that thing. So one of the areas of this that I like a lot is the vexes because they have a little bit of a dynamic light going on there. So the light from this end rod is casting onto the vexes face, highlighting the whites, but then there's these shadows here that really create a lot of depth within it. So I'm very pleased with the way that came out. And then, uh, yeah, we got the lights for the in or out, got the couches. And can we say something nice about Jasper here, the uh, texture creator at Mojang? He did a fantastic job on the snow block. I've always not cared for the snow block in prior texture packs, um, but his is beautiful. It's so smooth and clean. Love it. So if we head up the row here, you'll see dual cakes because one cake is not enough. Dual cakes is the way to go. So you're up here, right? Hermits are coming in by the droves, you know, just coming in, pitching ideas. And we're so generous. We're throwing diamonds at them to help them. But, you know, that's taxing on the body. You know, you get a little tired, you get worn out, you become famished. So you got dual cakes. One cake's not enough. You got dual cakes. <laughs> So the three seats for Captain Jack, Cub, and myself looking super fancy. And we head down here, you'll notice there's a lot of carpets. Now it's not my preferred method to light this up, of course. It doesn't look great, it's not seamless, but it's the only thing we could do. I want the blue to really glow, and I think that's the best we could do. Um, the audience seating got an upgrade, so we got rid of all the torches, added the Enrons, so I think that looks really, really fantastic. And of course, the diamonds. We got the diamonds above, and yeah, this was really fun. I hope you guys like this, but I just got a call on the Vex phone telling me to head on over to Concord because somebody dropped something off for us. Well, the sign says Sahara is coming, but it looks like the Sahara is here. We got some desertification going on here at Concord, apparently, Scar. It feels like that they have shot themselves in the foot with this prank. <laughs> Think, think. Let, let's let's analyze this prank, okay? Okay. Let's let's, let's let's dive deep into this prank. Indulge me. Okay. First of all, the sign, right? Yes. Sahara, Sahara is coming. Not Sahara is here. Mm -hmm. Not not Sahara is coming. So that means it's not yet here. That means, ipso facto, we're top dogs still. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what they're saying. They're saying they're an upstart. They're brand new. I mean, I I respect their hustle. You know, this must be yep. some type of viral marketing campaign for them. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, they, they, they know Concorp is respectable. They know, you know, we got businesses. They want to be a part of something be but bigger than themselves. And that's just Concorp. That's what Concorp is. Yeah, so you've been filling me in on what this Saharia business is. I mean, earlier I thought it was uh, McConaughey, you know, doing a sequel to his... Uh Academy Award winning picture, Saharia. I was very confused. So, Saharia <laughs> is the guys in the shopping district with that giant shoebox that's like, has a hole in it. It's a flimsy wall of concrete right now, is what it is. Um, mm. by, by the way, they're building out of concrete. Just want to point that out. Uh, <laughs> might have to tear it down now, now that they know that. I mean, concrete is just blocks that shipped from the island of Crete made by Concord. I mean, that's all it is. <laughs> That is all that is. And I mean, take, take a look at what's around you. You can't Scar. just what, hit what, me with that and just carry on. Like, oh my God. Okay. Okay. I'm what fine. do you see around you? We see a lot of sand, right? Yeah. A lot of sand? Yeah. I see a lot. Mm -hmm. Guess guess what the primary building material of, of concrete is? Sand. Sand. <laughs> yeah. So they've, they've gifted us thousands of sand, sand they desperately need to build up their shop themselves. Mm -hmm. Is that a smart business decision, Scar? I feel like they shot themselves in the foot. That's exactly what I'm saying. Man. And it's hard That's to shoot exactly yourself in the foot in Minecraft because you don't really have a, like a foot. It's just like a straight piece. So you really got to angle it. It's quite tough. Mm -hmm. You ever thought of that, mm -hmm. right? You don't have feet. How do we stand properly? Yep. You never know. You must have yeah. really, really strong heels, right? They must have some giant calluses on them, don't you think? Because if I take my they, boots off, right? Must. Look at this. Look at this. Anyway, enough about Minecraft yep. feet. You never thought about feet as much as you do right now because of that. <laughs> You're a weird guy, Scar. Weird guy. <laughs> Dude, sometimes things come to mind, and you know, I just like to share. What's this yeah. over here? Uh, looks like a shulker box. 85. 85. This is, if this is Skull's wood box, which he left here as evidence. That's poor prankmanship right there. Poor prankmanship. It must be. I'm, you know what? This now belongs to, uh, this now belongs to Concorp, and, uh, We'll use this to gather up the sand and put it in the box. Like, it's nicer than to leave this box for us. I mean, th this can't go unpunished. I mean, we have to we have to retaliate for this. And I say, I say we hit him immediately. Cub, I spoke way too soon on the cardboard box. This is more of a series 
of cardboard cutouts slowly being assembled into something. Uh, I think you give him too much credit. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm seeing I'm seeing blue sky where there should be building, and uh -huh. uh, I mean we were we were gonna come here and prank this place, but um, can't top this. You can't top <laughs> this. What they've already done here is punishment enough. I think. I mean, man, whew, it is rough. Oh man. Okay. Um, <laughs> I was rooting through their boxes, you know, as one does, and I did notice something. Look at this. They literally used up almost all of their sand on the prank because they have shulker box after shulker box of gravel, but they're like <laughs> basically out of sand. <laughs> That's our sand too now. That's our sand. Like we're not giving that back. Oh no, no, no. You know, I may have gotten a message from one of them saying, hey, hey, we'll help you clean it up and everything. That's code for we want that sand back. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> oh man. Well, I gotta, I gotta give them a hand. I mean, they played themselves on this one. So, uh, GG Sahara. GG. Oh, those silly, silly architects giving us all of that sand when they're in such need of it. Ha <laughs> ha. We're going to sell that back to him. It's going to be amazing. But anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. We went on a whirlwind. This was a wild episode. We got a massive amount of stuff done. We've got the set built. We cleaned up things in the shopping area. We roasted the convex of the children. Oh, my God. Here, have cake. Have cake. Kids like cake. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I think we're good. No, no, he went out the child's door. No. <laughs> I need my rockets. I'm, children scare me. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. But anyway, guys, like I said, we went on a whirlwind to get this episode complete. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. Architects got one last laugh at me. <laughs> It would be much appreciated if you left a like if you enjoyed it. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe, because you may just become scarred for life. Mm -hmm.